Hi, my name is Kelsey Kulik. I'm originally from the small town of Hudson Bay, Saskatchewan, and I've been singing country music since I was three years old. When I was 17 years old, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And after winning my battle with cancer, I promised myself that I would spend every day of my life doing what I love, which was singing and writing country music. That dream led me to winning a CCMA and signing a record deal in Nashville, Tennessee. My name is Eric Etheridge, and I'm originally from Sarnia, Ontario. I started singing about 15 years ago. Country music was something I fell in love with by accident when I started college. I ended up going to school to become a doctor of chiropractic, but my passion to sing and write country music kept growing. After three years in practice, three top 40 songs on Canadian country radio, and a CCMA, I finally signed a record deal and moved to Nashville as well. Growing up over 3,000 miles apart from each other back home, through fate or chance or whatever you believe in, we met in Nashville, fell in love, and eventually got married. It was the best day of my life. Hey, it was the best day of my life. <laughs> the wedding was everything we dreamed of. Life was really exciting. I was CMT Nashville's discovery artist, getting ready to go back into the studio to record my next album. And I was getting ready to go out on a 60-date arena tour across Canada. And then, everything changed. First, we have an update on the spread of the deadly coronavirus. We'll be denying entry to Canada to people who are not Canadian citizens. The entertainment industry is being hit with concert cancellations in many parts of the world. From CMA Fest announced today the show won't go on. Country Thunder is canceled. We were left thinking, what do we do now? Not only were all of our shows canceled, but they likely wouldn't be back for over two years. We went from thinking that 2020 was gonna be our biggest year yet, to literally not knowing how we were going to make any money for at least the next two years. So we did what we thought we would never have to do. I think we might need to move our shit out of Nashville for the time being. Right? Mm. I'm good. It's going to be a lot harder for you. Just finished packing after two very long days. I don't think we could fit another friggin' thing in any of our vehicles. Tomorrow morning we are leaving Nashville for the time being. Since we didn't have a home anymore, we decided to make the road our home. So, we sold a bunch of our things, sold our cars, Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah. and we bought a van. We contacted a company out of Calgary, Alberta called True North Custom Campers, and they were kind enough to help us out. They are going to help us build a state-of-the-art, off-the-grid camper van equipped with solar panels and a stage on the roof. In an unprecedented time when people are no longer allowed to see live music, we are going to bring the live music to them. We are going to use our new home on wheels to spread positivity and entertainment in a difficult time to people across North America. We look forward to seeing you guys while we take our love on the road. It's a good thing that we can.